In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sphere in SketchUp. So I'm using the SketchUp free web version. Um, this is the exact same process you would use in the pro version. I just decided to do it on the web version because I thought that's probably what most people are using. So uh, the first thing I'll do is I'll hit spacebar, which will give me my selector tool. And I'm going to select this sphere and hit delete just to get it out of the way so we can start fresh. So uh, the first thing you do when making a sphere is you make a circle. So all you have to do is hit the letter C key, which is the shortcut for circle. And in your tool menu right here, if it's currently on rectangle like this, you can click on the rectangle and it will bring a drop down and you can click on the circle there. So I'll click and drag and then notice over here in the bottom is the radius of the circle. I'm going to type in 10 feet. Whatever you want the radius of your sphere, um, go ahead and make this circle that same radius. So I typed in 10 apostrophe for feet and then hit enter. So now my circle is 10 feet in radius. And you'll see a little bit further on exactly why I'm making it a specifically 10 foot radius circle. So um, notice that we don't actually have a perfect circle here. There are um, a bunch of sides on it and it's obviously not smooth like a circle. So the way that we smooth this out is we click on the edge and it should just highlight the edge. If you click on the face, um, it will look like this and that's not what you want. You wanna click right on the edge here where just the edge is highlighted and then click this icon here which is Entity Info and we have 24 segments going around this circle. So the more segments we we add to it, the smoother it will be. I'm going to change 24 to 144. Hit enter. So now the circle actually has 144 sides, but that's enough that you can't tell it's not a perfect circle. Um, theoretically, you could add as many as you want and it would make it even smoother so uh, now that we have a circle what we're going to do is double click on the circle and then we're going to move a copy of it so the move tool is letter M for a shortcut or you can find it right here um, if I were to just move this circle it would move this what I want to do is move a copy so Look at the red arrows on my cursor here for the move tool. If I hit Alt or Option, it adds this plus sign. That's what we want to do. So that makes a copy and moves the copy and leaves the original object in place. So I'm going to click on the edge here with the move tool and it has the plus sign, meaning I hit Option. And I'm going to just lift it up here and I'll just take my finger off and type in the distance I want. So we made the circle 10 feet in radius, so I'm gonna type in 10 apostrophe for feet, hit enter. And the reason I made the radius 10 feet and move this 10 feet is I'm going to rotate this top circle and I want the edge to land dead on the center of this circle. And because this distance to the center here is the exact distance from this center to here, it is going to put this exactly where I want it. So now we need to rotate this top circle. So the rotate tool is letter Q on the shortcuts. And um, notice it has this blue protractor on it. So if I were to rotate anything, it would just rotate it in a flat manner like this. So what I want to do is hit the left arrow key. It's going to give me the green axis and then I'm going to find the center. So now that I'm on the center, starting with the center and not the edge, I'm going to click on the center and move it to the edge here. Click on the edge, and then now I can just move down, and it's rotating my circle. So I'll just move it down a little bit, and then I'm going to type in 90, hit enter, and that turned it exactly 90 degrees, which is what we want. So now we have one circle on the bottom, one on the top, just standing right in the center of the bottom circle and then now we're going to turn this top one into a sphere and all we have to do is hit the space bar for your selector tool click on the edge of the bottom circle again not the face but just the edge 
and then you're going to click the follow me tool which is it looks like a little pipe uh, or kind of looks like a macaroni noodle <laughs> if you click on if if yours has this push pull tool right here you'll click on that and it will bring this drop down and give you the follow me tool so again we with the selector clicked on the edge of the bottom circle clicked on the follow me tool and then just um, click and drag a little bit right here on this circle and it will turn into a sphere so uh, that's pretty much it if you hit E for the eraser tool you can erase this bottom circle and now we have a perfect sphere so uh, if you want to add some color to it or some sort of texture, you can hit B, which is the paint tool. And then I like it with this wood grain on it. I think that looks pretty cool. Um, but anyway, that is how you make a sphere in SketchUp. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.